Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and I told you guys a while back that I was going to try to launch my own Minecraft server. I had an idea in mind for a server and I wanted to definitely try to get it up and running and today I've spent the last seven hours god damn it the last seven hours trying to get this right and getting it working and I am pleased to say that it is working exactly as I had hoped so some information about the server it's running on 1.15.1 the client that I'm using is WWE obviously the most recent version crazy simple to install it now don't even bother with using multi MC anymore and all that shit it's just it's a hassle <coughs> excuse me I'm still getting over my cold if I randomly cough I'll try to mute it or you'll just have to deal with it whatever but the idea of this server was anarchy it is completely open to the world do what you want use any client you want if you want to fly and generate chunks and all that shit go for it um, it is running on a fairly basic server at the moment only five gigs of memory because that's just you know what I can afford right now but as the server grows or if we get more members things like that I will actually add on to it but at the moment I'm not opening it entirely public until I play it for myself at least a few days maybe get a couple friends online see what it can handle and go from there but the entire point of this server is it's not your normal anarchy so yeah there's obviously you can see I've spawned in myself some stuff just to test uh, what's going on but I'm going to do a complete server wipe before I launch the server but one thing, a couple things I'll tell you is I do have set home because I feel like that's a big thing that's missing in Java Minecraft. Uh, you can't sleep in a bed during the day to set your home. So there is a slash trigger set home uh, and you can set your home that way. There is also um, a bunch of other mods that I'm not going to tell you about. I will show you one. I will show you one of the mods that uh, I added to the game. And, <coughs> excuse me, this is why I have the Nether Stars. I completely made this mod 100% by myself. Nobody, I didn't use anything else. You know, this was 100% me. I went in and I learned how to make a data pack. I made the data pack, and now it works. So, there's a special thing on this server that I felt is missing from a lot of other servers. And it's the fact that you can't pick up spawners. And as much as I wanted that to be the data pack that I made today, that wasn't going to quite be enough for what I wanted. So as you can see, I have the spawner now. And if I place this down, it's just going to be a pig spawner. But there's some other things that I can do. I don't remember if this is one of them. It is. So. The special thing here is there are a bunch of hidden recipes on my server that you guys don't know about that you guys have to find in order to make spawners. So as you can see, this is a Vindicator spawner. Four emeralds around it and you get that. Or I'll show you guys one or two others real quick. Um, obviously this was how, <coughs> excuse me, you make the spawner. And if people don't figure it out within a couple months or something like that, I'll obviously, as you can see, I have a creeper spawner egg already. I should have done something with obsidian. I didn't. Um, did I do anything with emerald blocks? I did. That's the creeper. So <coughs> there's a bunch. I need, let me show you one more. I need a zombie. Or more bones. Either would work for me here. Uh, turn on kill aura. Oh, that, yep, that is a skeleton. Okay. Just blow. Oh my god, he survived. I need more bones. Well, actually, I think I did one with leather. 
Yeah. Uh, I mean, you get the point. There's a bunch of hidden recipes. I don't even have them memorized for myself. I think this is one. No, this doesn't look right. There's one with saddles. I'll tell you that. They are f all basically the same as this. There's four items in a diamond around a nether star. All of them are like that. There are some that are three items and some that are two items. So let me tell you an example of a three item real quick. Uh, let me see here. Cave spider eggs. That's a good one. So a cave spider egg would be... Oh, no, that's not one. Zombie villager. I'll tell you that one. So the zombie villager would be rotten flesh and an emerald. That way you get a zombie villager. And then what you can do is, give me one sec, I'm actually going to set it to daytime just for the fun of it. Set day. And I won't be touching these commands and stuff like that when it comes to public release of this server. That won't ever be something that I do. Go away. But the entire point of this is to set up custom farms and stuff like that. You're going to come at me anyway. So it's to set up custom farms and stuff like that. So what you can do is you place this down. As you can see, it's a pig spawner at first, and you can leave it that way if you want to. Um, and if there's wanting for it, I'll do stuff like... Uh, it's going to spawn way too many pigs right now. But uh, if you guys want to, when I release the server, I can actually go in and add things like, um, whatchamacallits to this, uh, regular animals. Right now I just wanted to do like this stuff, but as you can see, I can turn this now into a zombie villager exp uh grinder basically if you want to call it that so now this should spawn zombie villagers <coughs> excuse me so as you can see i have zombie villagers now spawning out of this now, while it's not an easy recipe and it requires nether stars for just about everything, I thought that was fair, especially knowing the history of Minecraft and, like, adding dupes and stuff like that. It's kind of a nightmare, but it's at least something, and it's it's a cool feature, and there's a ton of other features. Um, your name will actually so like some of the other visual ones that i'll tell you guys about is like afk display so if you're afk your name will change in the list uh it'll black itself out instead of being white like that let's see what other ones should i tell? i removed this one because it didn't work <clears throat> durability ping that is when your tool is below two percent durability um I added gem villagers and treasure gems from Hermitcraft because I thought that was a cool idea for like decorating and stuff like that since you can get like the mini things, um, the mini blocks for your decorations. Um, count mob deaths, you can actually track how many deaths uh, or how many mobs you've killed. I'm not going to talk about that, not going to talk about that. Set home I've talked about. And then there's one other custom thing that I added. But I'm going to let you guys discover that, um, and I'm going to make a couple of these custom ones. But I, it was a different kind of modding, and I'm not really happy with how it turned out. Um, basically, it's a 0.2% occurrence of something happening on the map and you discovering something. 0.2%. And so far, I have not found it. But other than that, I'm going to try to tweak that in the future and make it, you know, maybe 20%. But... You know, I'll figure that out in the future. It'll be a lot of fun. It's two different things that are 0.2% chance at finding. And we'll go from there. But if you guys definitely want to look into the server, I will definitely be looking into uh, mod packs in the future of other things we can add. If you have suggestions for mod packs, I am doing this data pack only. 
Um, I'm not doing anything that's going to be like a super mod pack or anything like that. There are a couple of people that I've talked to, and you guys know who you are, that you sound excited for this idea. And we'll just go from there. Everything is going to be completely hands-off as far as like admin control is concerned. I'm not going to be doing like set home, and, or I'm not going to be like spawning in slash give or anything like that. At least as of right now, maybe if there's like a donation thing that comes in in the future, I'll do a slash give where you get a gift for donating certain amounts or something like that. I do have people that have already suggested that idea, so maybe that could be a way I could get you guys some custom eggs or something like that. You know, who knows, some custom armor, maybe a strength six, strength six sword for donating, something like that. We'll figure it out. But um, I just wanted to make a video, let you guys know that the server is coming. I don't have a custom URL for the server yet, and I don't want to just directly give out the IP. And the other thing that I got to figure out is how to battle lag machines if I'm going at the server the way that I'm going at it. Uh, because I don't want to have to deal with that because, frankly, I don't know how yet. So I might make the server whitelist at first. And then we'll go public later on. Or if you know how to battle that kind of stuff, leave a comment in the uh, comment section down below. Let me know. And we'll go from there as well. So hope you guys are excited for this idea. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for other things to add to the server before launch. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.